everyone so in today's video we are going to be talking about another drug that is ethambutol so ethambutol hydrochloride is a hydrochloride salt of ethambutol it is an antimicrobial antibiotic now there is no exact known uh, mechanism of action for this drug but there is evidence that the drug exerts is bacteriostatic activity by virtue of inhibition of arabinosal transferase. Now, this is an enzyme that polymerizes arabinose into arabin and then arabinoglectin. So ultimately, there is formation of arabinoglectin, which is essential part of cell wall of the mycobacterium. Now, as we know, cell wall has different functions in mycobacterium, such as it is involved in its pathogenesis, in its survival, etc. So all of these, those functions will be compromised because of this um, component being missing in the cell wall. Now, because there is no more uh, production or formation of arabinoglectin, there will, there will be compromised function of the cell wall. So this is the supposed or proposed, this is the proposed mechanism of action until now uh, of ethambutol. Now if we move towards properties of ethambutol. It has a protein binding of 20 to 30%. Its me metabolism occurs in liver. Half-life, which is elimination half-life, it is around three to four hours, and it has a molecular mass of um, 204.31 gram per mole. Sorry, I forgot to write uh, unit. It is water soluble and bacteriostatic agent, which is readily absorbed by oral administration. So orally it is um, readily absorbed around 75 to 80%. And now if we talk about a structure activity relationship. Now, as you can see over here, chemical structure of this agent is being shown. Now, over here, there are two amino acids being attached. And these two amino acids are very important for its antibacterial activity. If you replace these amino acids with uh, either acetyl, sulfonyl, or um, nitrosyl moieties, this antimicrobacterial activity will be lost. And if I talk about um, asymmetrical carbon atoms, asymmetrical carbon atoms are those atoms which have four different functional groups being attached to them. Now, over here, in this structure, we have two asymmetrical carbon atoms. So first one is this, and the second one is over here. So both of these are asymmetrical because they have four different functional group being attached to them. Now it is stereo uh, specific and the ethambutol, that is dextroethambutol, it is 16 times more active than levoform. So uh, dextroethambutol will have more pharmacological activity as compared to levoform. So uh, what is dextroethambutol? Now in dextroethambutol, hydroxymethyl groups are on the front and hydrogen is on the back. So these are on the front and hydrogen will be on the back side of the structure. So if OH groups which are being attached over here. These groups are being replaced by some other groups like OCS3 or OC2H5. The compound remains active. But if you replace these OH with some aromatic systems such as phenyl or pyri uh, pyridine, then compound will become inactive. And if you completely remove these uh, groups, there will be no more activity. And the dextroenchumer is 200 to 500 times more potent than mesoenchumers. So as we know, 
potency is something different than activity. Activity is something related to its pharmacological action, whereas potency is something related to its uh, quantity. So if you are taking uh, dextro into consideration, it is 200 to 500 times more potent than meso -insumer. And levo in, uh, isomer is inert. So if we talk about uses of ethambutol, ethambutol is primarily used in tuberculosis and is, it is first line therapy in patient of tuberculosis. It is also used against mycobacterium avium complex and mycobacterium cancer. Adverse effects include headache, loss of appetite, um, stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, and allergic reactions. And over here, we have some references for this topic. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this topic and I 